I have an assignment to wake you up. The king is coming. The king is coming. He's coming for you. The story of the five virgins is the story of the church. These virgins represent spirit-filled, born-again believers. They all are virgins because they have not defiled themselves. They all are virgins because they are getting ready to be married. The husband of the church is Jesus. And the church is getting ready for a wedding. There is a wedding coming soon. It has already been announced. It has been announced by the wicked. It has been announced by the righteous. Everything in the, in the hanging in the air is sending signals of get ready. There is a cloud. In the atmosphere, that seems to say we are closer to the coming of the Lord than we have ever been. I go to a funeral, I'll preach the coming of the Lord. You invite me to your wedding, I will preach that Jesus is coming before you get your baby. I am trying to say something that the church is sleeping. We have gone on serious sleep we are behaving like we are permanently here until death and now people are, are so much afraid of dying of a sickness that they are so careful about protecting themselves from death but they don't realize that the death that is hanging in the air it's a message about something else. All oh, what is going on about Corona and about people dying and about people leaving the faith and about all oh, the lukewarmness that has come in the church. It is what the Bible says they all slept. Lukewarmness. The spirit of feeling like not doing anything for the kingdom but you need to do a lot for yourself. It is scary for me. I believe that there are two groups of people in the church. Wise and foolish. And the wise are those who will be raptured. And the foolish will take the second flight. It's your choice. The wise were all sleeping. But they were sleeping ready. If he comes while you are asleep, will you go? Or will you begin to trim your lamp and your lamp has no light? It is we are the light of the world. We are a city that is built on a hill that cannot be hidden. We are hiding somewhere, but we are not supposed to be hiding. We are supposed to be standing up because even when you hide, they know you. It is time for you to stand to be counted. It is time for you to be wise and not to be foolish. Redeeming time. Because the days that we are living in are evil. Before the coming of the Lord, evil times will come. People will be lovers of selves. People will love money more than loving God. They, they will be, they will be, they will be, they will lose humanity. And become so wild. Have no humanity. Kill one another. Destroy one another. That's where we are today. It is too much. But why is it too much? 
Because of the times that we are living. I want to communicate this to every believer. If you are doing anything. For the future. Let it be. That it is in the near future. And if you have got any plans for far future. Get ready. Because you will leave the project in the middle. Jesus gives us an immediate thing. But what is it that was in the days of Noah? Judgment. Judgment. Judgment came in the days of Noah. And then in the New Testament, the Bible calls Noah a preacher of righteousness. Noah for 100 years was warning, warning people about the destruction that was going to come into the world because the human beings of the days of Noah were like the human beings of today. They were corrupt in their minds. They, they did everything that was contrary to what life itself is all about. Don't we live in days like that? When the nations of the world have no shame to legalize what is inhuman. For a man to go to bed with another man, it is not only dirty, but it is a totally inhuman thing. Sodom and Gomorrah, the destruction, the judgment that came during the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, is because the minds of the people were corrupted. To do those things that are not human. The people in the days of Noah were corrupted in their minds to accept things that are inhuman. The people that are living in our day, they are exactly like that. They lie to you, people that you trust. And they don't even blink. They don't feel anything. When they lie. They plot evil. No. No human feeling at all. And this spirit is the same spirit. That is overing in the air. Somebody says. Oh. They will say. Oh it's a mental problem. It's not a mental problem. It's more than mental. It's spiritual. It's crazy for a man to kill his children and kill himself. It's crazy. It's abnormal. It is a spirit. We are in such a time. And this is not the sign of the second coming of the Lord. It is a sign that the king is coming. When he comes at this time, he is not going to be seen. He will come like a thief in the night. In the days of Noah, they were so comfortable in the middle of wickedness. I thought our science could help us in everything. I thought we have got brilliant people enough to come up with solution for every problem that comes. But you know what it is? The stage for the end time events is set. Those who have no oil right now in their lungs Even when they wake up, they will wake up too late. You need oil. I say you need oil. It is preparation time. You need oil. You need oil. You need the Holy Spirit in your life. You need, you need to walk like you know 
that something is about to happen. Even if you sleep, sleep ready. This is the time to help one another. We cannot help you when the door has been shut. If you must get married before Jesus comes, marry tomorrow. Whatever you must do, do it. And do it fast. Because when it comes, there will be no time to do anything. Begin to invest in heaven. Your time, your resources, your life, begin to put something there. So that when you go there, you don't go, you don't just say, oh, I made it. The night is coming. When there will be no one who can do anything. When the sun comes, will he find faith on earth? Will he find us still believing? Are we still believers who believe that Jesus is coming? Oh, are we saying, oh, he has delayed. The Bible says in that scripture, it said, and the bridegroom delayed. He said, I am coming soon. And it is over 2,000 years since he said that. Has indeed not delayed? Yes, he has. And because he has delayed some of the virgins are asleep and they're sleeping carelessly. I have an assignment to wake you up. The king is coming. The king is coming. He's coming for you.